Good morning everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really exciting, as is most videos. And you'll have to excuse me, I did just wake up. I had breakfast and I have my coffee here. So I'm still waking up. I'm a little bit like raspy. But yeah, today's video is super exciting because we're playing with these guys. You've seen them all over the internet. Emily just like pretty much broke the internet, I would say. Um, we're going to be using a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and I have some other Makeup Revolution products that I'm going to play with today because it's going to be a Makeup Revolution day today. I've got the Makeup Revolution stick foundation, which I've been using and loving, and I can't wait to tell you my thoughts on that. And I just got yesterday the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage. So this should be interesting. I love the packaging on that. Um, I got the shade C6, which I believe was light neutral or something like that. They had the little description of the color on the website, so I was just going off of that. But I already primed my eyes, so if you want to see what look I come up with, then just keep watching. Okay, so I literally have no idea what I'm going to um, abuse from this big mass. Oh, wait, the little plasticky thing is still on the mirror. Hold on, I gotta take this baby off. I just literally threw it on the ground. But this is what we're working with. We got a lot of colors to choose from, as you can see. You've seen this a thousand and one times, I'm sure. But I kind of want to use those cranberry colors, like maybe this. Um, some of the purples, I don't know, but that's kind of what I'm thinking because I am I have this um, maroon colored wine shirt on, so I thought I would play with some of those colors. Maybe use, maybe use pizzazz on the lid, or maybe even Eve Rose. I don't know what I want to use, but I'm so excited, and I've been thinking of this palette ever since I ordered it, so I'm really excited. And then I did end up getting the um, Emily the Needs palette. But when I ordered it, I was like, oh, I'm not so sure I'm going to like that. And then I kept seeing pictures of it, and I was like, okay. And immediately I was going to actually return it, but then I was just like, why would I do that? Because it's gorgeous, and it would be so nice for travel, actually. Not that I really go anywhere, but um, for like a work look and a one and done look, I feel like this would be perfect so I'm really excited to have this and I did dip into this love color um, to set my crease shade so that's all I did so far we have some stuff to play with grab snack grab your makeup let's put some makeup on okay so okay so I'm going to just go for it I think I'm gonna put love tons I think in my crease Ooh, and then should I do Top Story? Top Story is that gold. Ooh. But I kind of want to do that pizzazz color. But that Top Story has, like, those little glitters in it that is just gorgeous. But also, I love this corduroy color. Oh, my God. That's going to be so much fun to play with. Um, all right. We're just going to dip into Love Tons with my crease brush, my Morphe 433 brush. But one of my favorite things about Makeup Revolution, by the way, is the mattes right off the bat. I tend to have a little bit of trouble with the shimmers, but I would say that the Makeup Revolution shimmers are hit or miss. Easily hit or miss. They just... Some of them work, some of them don't, some of them are complete fails, some of them are a little bit fails. I don't know, it's like all over the place. But I, I do have this palette. I do have this palette from Makeup Revolution and that is 100% 10 out of 10 amazing modern renaissance dupe. If you don't have the modern renaissance, don't even worry about it. Get this one. It's actually way better. Colors are more vibrant. I love this one. The shimmers are really, 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 really good um, with that one. So that's just a little word on that. But going into the other eye. So, work has been picking up like crazy, you guys. I like, I'm so happy I have a day off today because I was so tired last night. I was also a little bit sick yesterday at work, which was not really that fun because we were 
double booked. <laughs> and by that, I mean there were two appointments for um, the same time. So, and that happened at every time slot that we had a appointment. So there were two people at 10, there were two people at um, 2.30, there were two people at 4.30, there was another person at 6. Like, it was just non-stop. Um, and I had to leave early, like at 7.30, which is not really that early, I guess, but they were still going, and I mean, I don't know how late they stayed. But we must have done a $10,000 day yesterday because before we had any appointments, we already had $5,000 in. That was crazy because we had merchandise that was being uh, put on hold and we had to ring it today because there was like a sale going on. But yeah, I just like, everybody spent like $1,000 today. So, and we had like, what, how many people is that? Two, four, six, we had eight people. So... About a $10,000 day, I would say. It was just one thing after the other, and my, my, the other assistant that we hired started yesterday, which is awesome. I'm so happy I finally have extra help, because it's just been me since July 3rd, since the other assistant left. So, that's been great. Like, I've been able to figure a lot of stuff out on my own. Like, I've been able to get a stronger bonding relationship with my boss which has been awesome but it's just hard doing it by myself like honestly I am so happy to have an extra hand that is for sure but I was so out of it yesterday and I had to do this annoying this lady wanted um, two of the same bags and my search system was down so I couldn't even search in my system to see if the store our store had it so I had to contact other stores to see if their system was down and then I got the actual SKU number because I was searching by the web ID and then I could find it and then I thought oh okay I could just order it from our f fulfillment center but then our fulfillment center, ol fulfillment center only had one so I couldn't order that one and then I didn't know what to do so I was like okay let me just contact New York because I have a lot of connections um, with personal shopping at New York and it, by this time it was like 7 o'clock at night and I was like are you kidding me they're not even going to be there but I remembered that the receptionist is there late and I actually met the receptionist so I called her and I was like oh my gosh I need like this big favor from you can you see if you could find this these two bags they're the same bag so it's not like it was like annoying like that but so she was like yeah yeah no problem let me see if my my assistant can do it so um she, I gave her my phone number and then also simultaneously I had emailed another person from New York to see if they could because I don't know like who's really there like sometimes it depends but I emailed him too and he was like yes I have I have one of them I'll put it on hold for you no problem and then the, um, the receptionist called me back and she was like yeah so we only have one and we found it and um, I was like oh my god that's great because the other guy found it so they have both of them on hold for me and my girls at work are going to give the information that is necessary to send the information to the client so it, it was just like a marathon and sometimes it's like that with um, locating stuff and I don't know why I'm still putting on this crease color <laughs> I just got carried away telling that story but it was just crazy and then I did think that we actually had one in our store but then they were like yeah no we don't have it so that was kind of annoying I hate it when that happens but yeah the fact that we were double booked and the new girl started on the double book day, it was just, it was literally crazy. Um, okay, so that really applied nicely, you guys, if you can see. You can tell I'm, I am kind of like really tired, so I apologize about that, but I did really want to film this video. I think I am going to go in with Top Story, because that is the color 
that grateful and pizzazz are like calling my name but I do want to play with Top Story. Why am I putting a gold on the lid when I have all this color? I don't know. But that's what I want to do. So you guys know I'm like really good friends with Canoe X Makeup here on YouTube and Instagram. Um, I went to visit her in Wisconsin two years ago, I guess it was. Which is crazy that it was two years ago. But oh my god, can we just take a minute? I'm sorry, Canoe. I just have to interrupt myself. <laughs> this gold is insane. Good. I'm glad the shimmers are like really good because I was really worried about that but I think we're fine um okay so my friend Kalu she is so talented you guys she does all this like all these like paint abstract paintings that come out so good and I'm so jealous that she has that talent I, I wish I had like some sort of like hobby or talent like that but I mean I guess makeup is in a way but I don't know her paintings are so cool and I just bought one from her um, because it's a, it was a rose and I was like oh my god I have to have that like if, if I have to buy it I will buy it I want it um, so that's coming and then she also is gifting me one which is a green one which is really cool and I cannot wait to put these in my apartment when I eventually move out that would be really cool to have like my best friend be in my apartment but she's not really you know what I mean just like something from her like a housewarming gift kind of but yeah I just wanted to shout her out because I think she deserves so much more recognition for her talent um, so I'll put her the name of her business down below and the name of her Instagram business that way you guys can go follow her because you will love her art. It is amazing. Okay. So I just put Top Story all over my lid and I think it's gorgeous. Like, oh my god, I love it. And I love it with that cranberry color. I think I am going to... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the color Cheer, I think. Which is this, like, deeper brown wine color, sort of. And I'm going to put that in the outer V and also deepen up the crease. And I'm going to take that same Morphe brush to apply that. It's gorgeous. Okay, what I want to do though is I want to take um, the same Morphe brush, but I have two of them, so it's a story. And I want to put Laugh Cry kind of on the outer. I want to trace the perimeter of my crease. This palette is really big and bulky to be holding up and showing you guys and stuff. Just slightly trace the perimeter. Just to sort of brighten that area up. Just gonna blend that out. I don't know if that really did much, but oh well. And then I'm going to take this color called the cream. It's just your standard matte cream color. Go Emily for including this for us because that would have been kind of annoying actually to not have a color like that. That was nice. This color was very, very nice, I have to say. Just to smooth my brow bone and crease over. But I also want to take my blending brush and just go over that. Okay, so that is really pretty and I really like that. Oh my gosh. I love that gold color. Wow. Okay, so that's that. I want to take my... I'm going to zoom you guys back out because I'm going to go back to the eyes. But for now... I'm, so what I want to do is I've been using my... I'm like literally almost done with this. I'm so, like, I'm like right there and I am... 
This is how I'm taking out my primer, by the way. <laughs> I'm undoing it, and I'm just like putting it all over my face like this because I cannot pump any more out, and it's just crazy. I love this. I'm slightly considering repurchasing it, but I do have other primers, so I'm not going to do that anytime soon. By the way, people, this um, Emily stuff was the last thing that I purchased, and or is the last thing that I'm going to be purchasing, because I really need to be on a no-buy, like, until further notice. I am a shopaholic, I know that. <laughs> um, I just love shopping. I love getting new things, I love posting about it, um, it's just fun for me, but it is dangerous. <laughs> However, I don't spend, like, a lot of um, money on, a sp on one item, I would say. I do, like, drugstore prices for makeup and pretty much for um, everything else, too. But it does add up, and this month I did spend it on that Kate Spade bag, which I really, really, really did not need. Um, I just really wanted it, so I got it. Um, so I just need to be more conscious, and I think just not spending money is probably the better, the better thing for me right now because I do want to move out eventually. Hopefully by January, that, that is kind of my goal. Try to see what's available. I did cancel my boxy charm, which I'm very proud of myself for doing because I had been doing it for what, like six months or so? And um, I loved about half the stuff and the other half I would just like get rid of or pass on or whatever it may be. And, $21 is kind of a lot per month when you're on a budget, I would say. And I was kind of using that as my only way to bring in makeup. And if I was like throwing it out or like passing on half the stuff in the box, then I didn't think it was worth it. So I did, um, you know, unsubscribe and I'm very happy about that. I also am considering unsubscribing or unfollowing um, Trend Mood because she really tempts me. I mean, I like knowing what is out there, that's for sure. But if I didn't know, that would probably be better for me to buy. That's kind of where I'm going with that. <laughs> Alright, now for the super exciting part, because I'm really excited about this um, concealer. I'm going to use this concealer. It's got the fat doe foot, just like the um, tart shaped it. But I think I'm going to start um, lightly. This is a good color for me. Oh yeah, I'm good. Okay, that wasn't really lightly, but that's a lot less than I usually particularly put on. Those are on. So let's go back to the eyes and do a little eyeliner. If I can find my eyeliner. Put it here somewhere. My little Urban Decay one. But maybe we can't use that today because I don't know where it is. So, we're going to use this Urban Decay one, which, which is the Demolition. It's called Demolition. I want to do some mascara. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Mascara is done, and now I want to do blush, which I'm going to use the Needs palette for this, the rest of my face, pretty much. So, the only thing is I hate opening these. Come on. There we go. Okay. And we go ahead and just use the nice natural blush here called Joy. I hope my brush is going to, oh, kind of fits. These ovals really bother me for some reason. Wow, that is, that is really nice and natural. Okay, I think I'm definitely keeping this palette. I was really on the fence about it when I first purchased it. Like I said, I was going to return it. 
like even before I opened it but then I kept seeing pictures and I was like yeah no I'm keeping this baby it reminds me this blush of the note cosmetics blush that I got in my boxy charm I'm gonna get that out in a second I'm going to fix up my outer V area because it's kind of a little wonky right there. Yeah, there we go. That blended so easily. Wow. Oh, I love this makeup. Okay, so let's get out that blush so we can see the difference here. That joy color is a little bit more natural and like brown toned. This one has a little bit of brightness and peachiness to it, but they're pretty much, they're similar. So for highlighter, I'll use the highlighter in here, although this is not my favorite type of highlighter. This is the Gratitude color. Love the names of these. Love, love, love. My favorite type of highlighter, I meant like the color was not my favorite. However, it's pretty. It's kind of like pinky toned. I feel like I have a lot of different colors on my face. I have like the, the orange, I have the white of my eyes. I typically like to match my color a little bit better, but whatever. We definitely need to do an inner corner highlighter. I'll take the same gratitude in my inner tear duct area and just pop that right in there. That's gorgeous in the inner corner. Okay, now we definitely need some bronzer. So, I'm going to take my Morphe G5. I'm going to take the Courage bronzer. That looks like a real nice bronzer. It looks like the Too Faced chocolate bronzer. Maybe a little bit like warmer toned. You guys know me and bronzer. I just go ham. Yeah, see, I don't like these ov ovals. That's the only thing I will say. By the way, who's excited for fall? Raise your hand. I am excited for fall like there's nobody's business. That's a nice bronzer. Wish the pan was different though. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, my birthday is in the fall. It's October 15th, so it's like right smack in the middle of fall and it's the best time of year with my friends i'm going to go to a corn maze that i used to work at um and it's gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna do all fall themed activities um i love doing that for my birthday and most people are available which is good because i asked way in advance and i think courtney is gonna come too which i'm really excited about okay Yeah, that's definitely like a pinky toned highlighter. I did not expect that. So for lips, I need to figure that out. I am recording, thank God, because I didn't think I turned it on. Every time I film, right guys? I always get like a panic attack. Oh my God. I want to, and I want to use like a mauve ooh. Oh, that's more purple. I think I want to go neutral. And then maybe add this on top. This is a fun, like, clear gloss with some fun sparkle in it. But which nude do I want to go with? This is what I want. L'Oreal Color Reach Shine in Varnished Rose. That is definitely for sure. Can you guys hear my dad, like, yelling on the phone? So loud. I am going to take this gloss. Not that I need it, but I just really want to use this. I saw a Fenty Beauty gloss that's going to be this color. And I'm like, wait, I have this. I do not need to go buy another gloss. 
this is the final look. I really, really like it. I can't wait to play more with this Emily palette. Oh my god, you guys. She did a fantastic job. Did we all know she was going to do a fantastic job? Of course we did. Like, come on, it's Emily. She knows eyeshadow like... It's just amazing. I'm so proud of her. I loved watching the reveal video. I loved watching the vlog of her going to Ulta and seeing that it was sold out in four minutes. That is absolutely insane. Um, good for her. Congratulations, Emily. I'm so happy for you, and you deserve it all. So anyway, anyways, you guys, that is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. What do you think? Let me know. Um, but that was probably a really weird like way to do that. How about that? Okay, so anyway, <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Hit the like too, so I know you guys like Get Ready With Me's. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.